Okay, Mr. LaFond, uh, the, this, right, this, the, uh, pocket stick, I'll call it. This is actually a musical instrument, uh, in, uh, I believe Mexican and Indian music, the subcontinent India. Uh, it's also, uh, known in Japan as the Yao, Yara, what was it called in Japanese? Yao, Yawara? Yawara and a handbow. Handbow, um, right. I have one that I gave to a man down in Baltimore for a hand stick, so he doesn't have to use his folding roller from work. Nah. <clears throat> uh, like he did to protect himself in one encounter. Um, that Mr. Uh, Sifu Clark gave it to me. It was made out of ironwood. Um, this is, uh, this would be a good wood. This is hawthorn. This is too long as a, as a hand stick. This is the minimum size that you would use like a baton. It would be very good for, uh, for self-defense if you're on your feet. So I'd recommend something, this is the same length as a hand umbrella. Uh, I'd recommend something like this to have available uh, for when you have to leave your car and get to a dwelling place or some other defensible location in case you're being menaced by people on foot between you uh, and your vehicle and the place you're trying to get into. Uh, this would be good for that because in a pinch, you could still use as a hand stick while you were seated. Okay, um, stabbing with something that's longer than this, like if you if you haven't done a whole lot of sparring and you're stabbing with something this long, there's a pretty good chance that your point control is going to be off, yeah. and you're going to miss their face or neck, and you're going to go over it. And since it's not a blade, you're not just going to be able to cut. Yeah. So if you have to, if you're not trained and you have to stab with something that's this long, stab like this. And like that, uh, and chop like this. You won't be very effective at using this as a chopping implement until you've done your forearm conditioning. Right, right. Okay, but um, if you're standing up, you could do very effective stabs to the body. Oh yeah. Mixed up with this checking hand to keep them off of you. But when you're seated, or when you're on your feet, I like the hand stick one here and there's essentially two moves that you do with this there is the lateral inward stab to the face to the chin you don't want to try to go deep if he ducks in and you're going for the ear let's say you might end up hitting his skull with this and paralyze your own hand mm. so you want to err on the side of coming up short to the chin or the face, most people will try to pull their face out of the way and in so doing lock their hips and stop their forward progress, which gives you a little bit of space. Make sure that you don't bury this shoulder. Make sure you bring it to here. And then, this is your power stroke. This is the one that you can send at the skull. Mm -hmm. If he comes in too deep and you get it behind his head, you could still knock him out with this. It's safe to hit with this bone. Yeah. It's not safe to hit here. Right. It's safe to hit with this. And then once you have this, you can pull and pull. You could use this for neck control. So this is a very simple set of techniques. From here to here or to here. Okay, that's it. You, this is problematical here. If he comes down and hits here, again, you could lose the whole thing. This is very simple, and you have to use it with your checking hand. So if you're sitting in your automobile, and this arm is grabbed here, and you have something by your stick shift, bah, bah, and behind the neck, get this thing out. Okay. Oh. <laughs> now, if... If you're sitting in your car and they go for your steering wheel or they reach across over here uh, to try to get your keys or whatever then you can use this hand to defend and control mm -hmm. this is more powerful because you're using your tricep muscle which is like twice as strong as your bicep and you can actually use that muscle in right. the strike okay so it looks like it looks like what you, it looks like you're doing like like Wing Chun. 
Okay. Like with the, except with a, a uh, weapon. Actually, if, if somebody's practiced any Wing, Wing Chun or Southern Kung Fu, uh, and another version of it would be Kun Tao, which is like Filipino Kung Fu, yeah. which is taught by Sifu Kwart, who's the man that gave me my oh, yeah. ironwood hand stick. Yeah. So it, you want to use this with a check in hand. And this is your power stroke. This is the stroke that you actually want to mess with half the time, right here. The right, stroke here, back here. You don't want to worry about taking that out. Okay. That's cool. That's just a hand stick. Now, of course, uh, uh, most people are not gonna train or be effective uh, in term with this because most people are just made to be things. That's okay. That's not you. Uh, let them. Let them. Let them be the soft cattle that they go after. It's a so-called fatigue. You know, if you're if I'm war gaming and I'm defending the Italian peninsula against uh, the Allies, I'll put my Italian units on the flanks to absorb soak up attacks. Mm. Okay, well that's what you use your Chinese grocer for. He's there to absorb soak up attacks, and then you can Aww. attack less often because he's a softer target. Oh, right. what you saying? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just thinking. I said it's fascinating with these the uh, the pocket stick. Everyone, of course, you know, everyone looks at this stuff and thinks, oh, it's very uh, karate, it's very martial art. Let me tell you something. Uh, and there's no magic. There's no uh, tall tales. Those old karate dudes uh, were tough sons of bitches. This is a, a kubaton no. pen. This can be used no. in oh. the same way. Okay, and it can still be used for control with the other oh. hand if you get it behind the neck. And this, if you got something like this. If they extend the arm and you could drive the arm up, you want to hit the armpit. That hurts like hell. I've been stabbed in the armpit before. Yeah. Stick fighting and fighting with blunt knives. Okay. Okay, so uh, the, the this is also about the same length as many knives that have not been opened up. Mm. So if you have a knife that's got a four inch blade, a five inch blade that's a folder, you could use that as a hand stick as well that, without even opening it up. That is interesting. Okay. okay. All right. That's cool. And like I said, the stick. You know, when you think of stick fighting, of course, you think of the videos and you think of like you know the the long stick. But uh, the short stick has a place. You know, remember the sticks are supposed to be blades, and the blades are supposed to be sticks. All right. Heavy. Heavy. All right. Later.